So, I'm having a chat with Nervous. How are you guys? I'm great, thank you. Yeah, we're good. Good. Back at 2000 Trees. Oh, yeah, it's been amazing. We're finally back after a little bit of a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we won't talk about it. Actually, we might get on to. Um, but uh, how's your day been so far? How's uh, the rest of the weekend looking? It's been great. It's been awesome. We played earlier on the main stage uh, to a, a whole bunch of people, which was unexpected and wonderful. Yeah. So, yeah, and we've just been hanging out, catching up with friends, watching bands. So, yeah. Yeah, couldn't ask for anything more. Sun came out right after we played. So that that was great. It's really, really hot seeing so many people that we haven't seen in ages. And, yeah, looking forward to just seeing loads of bands later, catching up with people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, uh, you've been busy this year releasing some music tell us about uh, what came out earlier this year uh june 24th we released a record called the evil one um on get better records it's our fourth album and it's better than all the other albums um <laughs> everyone will really like it if they listen to it uh it's the it's basically the pinnacle of modern rock music and uh i advise you to get into it what do you think Lutinda? yeah i think you just need to get into it really <laughs> It's a slow burner, is it? <laughs> no, no, it's not a slow burner. You just got to listen to it. Yeah, no, it's 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 you know it's snappy. <laughs> as soon as you get that on, you're in it. No, um, it's a lot different from the other stuff that we've popped out. Um, I suppose everything everything we've done has a lot of progression in a sense. But um, yeah, this is definitely the most different flavour that we've done. Uh, it's been received really well, which is awesome. Um, so it's really nice to like sort of be able to play some of it live. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we had a great time. <laughs> good, good. Now the pandemic got in the way of life and, and especially music as well a couple of years ago. How much of an impact did that have on you guys and what you were doing at the time? Well, it just ruined everything. <laughs> um, no, I think like I think as people like especially both of us, um, we were full time musicians um, in you know not just nervous other projects as well, yeah. um, self employed, and then all of a sudden in a few phone calls in about ten minutes, um, it just got taken away, and obviously uh, so many people have suffered through it and. So yeah, it completely, personally for both of us, it completely changed our lives because we went from being full-time musicians to yeah. wondering where, what we were even meant to do, um, how we were meant to sort of live when that wasn't there anymore. Um, and obviously it's affected everyone in, in different ways, but I think, yeah, full, full-time musicians, it was a weird one because it was just like, wow, what do we do now then? Because uh, there was not a lot of support going down but there wasn't a lot of support for anyone no. like people that worked in hospitality or retail um, so yeah I suppose we were just in the same boat as everybody else that got that sort of got let go but no furlough no nothing no yeah same position here which is a shame for quite a pe lot of people in this in this industry but we're back and we're back with vengeance so obviously you must have kind of tried to keep going as best as you could during the lockdowns and things and kept writing is that what you did for this album was most of it kind of done during lockdown yeah so i think uh after the first lockdown we re we we released three eps so we were writing and recording remotely mm. and just working on new stuff um and we released a bunch of it in different various well different kind of like projects um and we're writing towards this fourth album as well. So it was almost like the fourth album kind of came beyond the the worst of the pandemic. But yeah, I think like we would we were just still full steam ahead yeah. the whole way through. Really, it was just a, it just looked different and was different because we were physically separated from one another in terms that we don't live near each other really. Um, and so yeah, it was just sort of straight through. Yeah, and, and what was it like kind of writing, recording in such different circumstances due to the pandemic compared to when you'd written and recorded before? We, we were all set up quite well, actually. And um, I think for me, doing all the remote recording with the EPs, I hadn't picked up a guitar or a bass for months until we started doing those. And, and that made me, sort of gave me a bit of a kick to like pick up, pick it up again when I, when I felt pretty down on it and, and yeah. record those songs so we could put them out and I think I think it was kind of the same we just sort of all, all four of us had a bit of a goal in a sense so we had a focus and I think in a time where there was very little of that it was like quite a welcome distraction and it was nice to sort of make something 
in a different way. Um, I don't think it was necessarily the way that we all work best because I think I think all four of us work really well when we are in a studio doing the record and smashing it out but I think it was nice to do something that sort of made us really like hone in on what we were doing yeah. personally um, but yeah it was it was it was a fun it was a fun process and throwing bits back and forth and sort of having having something to sort of keep you sane when there wasn't anything yeah for sure now obviously people will want to see you playing live so where are you heading after this where can people see you uh, we're playing at the Victoria and Dalston next Saturday, and then we've got a UK and EU tour in September with the band called The Dead Notes. Yeah. That's, I think, like the first couple of weeks of September. So, yeah, that's the, that's next on the agenda. But, yeah. yeah. Are you hoping to, to take this new record further afield into, into Europe and the States as well, or is it just... Yeah, I think like we're looking to try and do some shows in the States before the end of the year. Um, obviously, our record label's based there, and yeah. and... A lot of the people who like our band are actually based there now as well, so it's definitely something that we're looking to go over and do. And playing Europe is something that we love to do anyway, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and what's 23 going to hold for you guys? Do you think it's going to be a writing year, recording year, releasing year, touring year? What, what's it's Probably a little of all of the above. Yeah. Everything. Bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure having a catch-up. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.